Hi, this is Larry Zorro. I'm going to do a little video on stickology. Blessed be the God. What do you have in your hand, Larry Zorro? It's a stick. It's a rod. That's what God said to Moses. What do you have in your hand? Let me show you my walking stick. From Greenwood, good walking stick should be aged about a year. Well, you might get some fine cracks in it. But you see, the J is a fishing hook. Jesus said, I'll make you fishers of man. The top looks like a rock covered with blood. It's the rock that the builders rejected. It became the chief cornerstone. That rock being Jesus who spilled his blood on the cross for our sins. We got the cross. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. And Jesus died on a cross of wood according to the scriptures. At the bottom, I have a serpent. Now, it doesn't represent... It doesn't represent the uh, serpent that God turned Moses' rod into a serpent. It doesn't represent that. It represents Satan. Satan is constantly, when I use it as a walking stick, having his snake-like head pounded into the ground. Pounded. Okay? Snake being pounded into the ground. Well, anyway, let's get to stickology. First, you should check to see what kind of condition you're in. Hold your stick. Stretch out. Do you feel pain? Any kind of pain. Glory to God, you don't feel pain. But if you're past 60, you should go like this. You should test to see how bad your joints really are. You should be drinking distilled water, pure water, God water. Call it holy water. There's no minerals. We're not inorganic creatures. We're organic creatures. We can't drink dirt. You want pure water. Filters can't filter out all that junk that's in your water. Go like this. Before we start, let's uh, put it behind our back. Kind of put a little pressure toward the front. And we're going to bend over and we're going to go side to side. Bending on that lower back. Oh yeah. You'll feel it. You'll feel it. If you're anything like me. Of course, we're all genetically made differently. But anyway, you'll feel your back pop. Man, bad alignment. But anyway, now you can be able to bend. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh wow. You can bend and touch the ground. Hallelujah, glory to God. Praise be his name. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. Now God will lead you what to do with your stick. But I'll show you some things. I'll show you some things God has showed me. One is, I put twistology to my stick stretching exercise. It's good to stretch like this, push on the bottom and then stretch, stretch over your head, stretch and then go like this. And then I don't know if you can see, let me get back further. Stretch, you're pushing down at the bottom. Now a good stick should come up to your chin. This one's a little short. So if you're looking for a rod, maybe you're going to get a broomstick or some bamboo. You might want to just go up to your chin. I like to put my hands over the ends. I don't know if you can see that. But put it, you know, it's kind of neat to kind of reach over instead of just being like this all the time. But there's two kinds of pressure when you do your stick. One kind is this outward pressure, which you don't see when you're, putting tension outwardly but it would be like this if you would let go so your outward pressure and then you'd have the inward pressure you don't just hold your stick and just stretch do a little pressure on your joints you want to press in like I'm pressing in right now Ooh, yeah and I'm doing some stretching you can go up and down up and down up and down and then you do the outward pressure same thing Except your hands are not on the end, but you're putting the outward pressure. See that? Look at that. Do it as fast as you can sometime. Do whatever God the Holy Spirit tells you to do. This is not exercise. This is a devotion time. You'd be praising God. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. All right. On the back. If you can't even get your stick, you can't even straighten up enough to get your stick on your back. That shows you how bad your joints are. 
You can go side to side. You can go even up and down like this. Try to go do good posture. If you can see. And you do the same thing. Pressure pressure that goes outward. Pressure that goes inward. You can do some swaying motions. Yeah, get that stretch, rib cage stretched out. Oh yeah. See, nothing to it. You can even do now some of this stuff I could not even hardly attempt to do when I started stickology. You can do outward pressure, do some some of these biceps. It really, you could fill it in your joints. I'm not talking about your muscles. I'm talking about your joints. You need that joint health. You need health in those joints. Now before I go, like I said, I'm not making this video long. I'm showing you the way the Holy Spirit can teach you, teach you other ways to use your stick. But uh, there's one last thing I should show you. It is neck exercise is where you, you notice I have this blue. It's just a uh, one of those things they play with in, in a, at the beach. You know, it's hollow, and I just let, slide it over on my stick. You put your head on it. I don't know if you can see. There we go. And you go down like this, putting pressure on your head and your neck. Then you do that. Then you can do the backward way. And you can do your chin. I wouldn't let your chin sink in. You don't want to have a sunken in chin. Stick your chin out and then do it. And there's the way the side. And you go both sides. Like that. Put pressure on it. Of course, I'm doing it real short just to give you an idea. Now, the other way is you turn your head. You want to get that movement on your neck. A lot of people, they exercise, but they neglect their, they neglect their neck. Neck's very important. It puts blood to your brains. Your brain. You don't want to have Alzheimer. You don't want to have Parkinson. You want a healthy. You want blood. Life is in the blood. Hallelujah. You do the same thing. You twist side to side. Just turn your head around. Look up. Your redemption draweth nigh. So you do it upward. And I don't know about you, but I hear cracking going on in my neck. And that's probably a good thing. I don't want alignment. I want spinal alignment. Well, I hope I gave you something to think about and to purchase a good stick, walking stick, bamboo, or some other kind of rod. But get into this. Remember, the outward pressure and inward pressure makes it different than just stretching. You can actually do some exercising with it. There's some advanced twisting you can do too. I forgot about that, but twist yourself. Twist. Did I, you know, and that's the thing. When you're doing your stretching, twist your arms. Look at that. Twist it. Twist it this way. Same thing in the back. Twist. Twist it. Twist it. Oh yeah, in the front, you twist it this way, see that, twisting, twisting that way, twisting this way. I believe in a term that I made up, it's twistology, that you have to get your joints in, in a position that's just like, okay, I'm teaching you how to do an arm curl, and it's one way. Your arm's like this, and it's one motion. But do an arm curl with a twisting motion, like this, now do it. Or if you're going like this, you know, just go straight down, you go this way, you go that way. I mean, you might use lighter weights, but see, it's using your joints in different positions. Why? People with exercise injury, all of a sudden, they do a movement that's not correct to what they're used to. They may go this, and oh my joint, oh, pull the muscle. 
Well, you're going to be strong. Your joints are going to be strong if you use my techniques that I got from the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. See, twisting. Well, this is Larry Zorro. I hope I gave you something to do, you know, for health. You know, a lot of people, their little platitudes or their little sayings they put on Facebook and you can do it. You can do it if you just believe. You can achieve. But one thing they leave out is Jesus Christ. You can't do anything without him. There's that mysterious thing called health. And you can only get health by the power and name of Jesus Christ. So do everything in Jesus' name and you'll be a success. Not I can do it, but I can do all things through Christ. And may you be blessed in Jesus' name. This is Larry Zorro. Take care. God bless. Bye.